Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipakshi Kurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 15th of August. India celebrates Independence Day. Prime Minister calls for staunch resolution for country's progress. Two militants killed by security forces in India's Jammu and Kashmir province. And blast near US Embassy rocks Kabul, three injured. And now for all the details. India on Monday marked the 70th Independence Day with Gusto. On this day, 1947, India gained freedom from British after decades of struggle. The iconic red fort in India's national capital was all decked up as India celebrated its 70th Independence Day. Leading the celebration on the historic day was Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who hosted the national flag. Addressing the nation, Prime Minister asked citizens to resolve in their own capacity for the progress of the country. महात्मा जी का नेतृत्व था सशस्त्र क्रांतिकारियों के बलिदान की प्रेरणा थी और तब जाकर के स्वराज प्राप्त हुआ लेकिन अब स्वराज को सुराज्य में बदलना ये सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासियों का संकल्प है Similar jubilant atmosphere was visible across the provinces in the country where provincial chiefs hosted the tricolor and addressed their people. Along the borders, Indian paramilitary border security force also celebrated the day with Pakistani and Bangladeshi counterpart by exchanging sweets. Hmm. Baloch and Kashmiri activists hail Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for voicing concerns over the ongoing atrocities on them by Pakistani security forces. Prime Minister Modi had expressed grave concerns over human rights violation by Pakistan in these regions. Political leaders and activists of Pakistan-administered Kashmir, Gilgit-Baltistan and Balochistan in Pakistan have thanked Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for highlighting their struggle for independence. Baloch leaders who have been fighting for independence from Pakistan have for long been raising human rights violations and atrocities committed by Pakistani army on ethnic Baloch community in various international fora. I thank uh, Prime Minister Modi Sahib on the behalf of whole Baloch nation and we hope that the Indian government, Indian media and uh, whole Indian nation will not only raise their voices for Baloch nation but also strive to help practically the Baloch independence movement. Baloch people are uh, fighting a monster state which is uh, harboring, nurturing and uh, supporting the Islamic extremists, jihadist extremist organizations that are a threat in the region and to the world. And together with India and other neighboring states, Baloch people can stop this monster from spreading terror in Afghanistan, India and other regions in the world. Exiled Kashmiri leaders have also urged Indian government to expose atrocities committed by Pakistan. We welcome the statement and we hope that the government of India, under his leadership, would take pragmatic steps to reduce and to eliminate slavery and uh, 
rotten system imposed and inflicted by the government of Pakistan on the people of this region. During his Independence Day address to the nation, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in a veiled attack, slammed Pakistan for supporting militants involved in terror activities in India. He also stated that people of Pakistan administered Kashmir, Gilgit and Balochistan thanked him for raising their issues while referring to his last week's statement in an all-party meeting where he accused Pakistan army of committing human rights violations in these areas. Staying on news from India, two militants were killed and one security personnel martyred on Monday when terrorists struck Indian province of Jammu and Kashmir. Security forces have also foiled an attempt by terrorists to infiltrate into India. A Central Reserve Police officer was killed as armed militants launched attack in capital city of Srinagar of India's Jammu and Kashmir province. The terrorists opened fire at a police station in North Shara area of the capital on early Monday morning. When the paramilitary personnel retaliated, the terrorists ran into a neighbouring residential area, triggering a nearly five-hour-long encounter to flush them out. At least eight security personnel were injured in the attack, out of which two are in critical conditions. The site of the attack was not far from Srinagar's Bakshi Stadium, where Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti participated in the Independence Day celebrations. The attack comes after security forces foiled an infiltration bid by militants into India in Uri sector, about 43 miles from Srinagar, in which two terrorists were killed. News from Afghanistan. At least three people were injured after a magnetic bomb planted in the vehicle was detonated near the U.S. Embassy in the Afghan capital, Kabul. The police have stated that the explosion targeted a vehicle belonging to the Afghan National Army or the ANA forces. No group has yet claimed responsibility for the attack. The attack comes as the insurgency is on rise in Afghanistan. There is festive zeal in Sri Lanka as people celebrate the annual Buddhist pageant. Colour and music fill the air, enlivening the mood of the people. The otherwise sleepy hill of Kandy in Sri Lanka came to life with thousands of lights. People in large number dressed in festive grab lined up streets to watch the annual pageant which has been held for centuries. The 11 day long festival celebrates the sacred tooth relic which Buddhists believe is one of the few remnants of Buddha. The highlight of the celebration is procession of the sacred tooth, which is kept in the golden casket and paraded on the top of the largest tusker among dozens of elephants that took part in the parade. Whirling dancers elaborately costumed elephants, stilt walkers and fire throwers make the festival a visual delight. The pageant is considered one of the most colourful in the world. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. India celebrates Independence Day. Prime Minister calls for staunch resolution for country's progress. Two militants killed by security forces in India's Jammu and Kashmir province. And blast near US Embassy rocks Kabul, three injured.
Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.